What's up everybody, Bootsy Greenwood here. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to deal with lower energy levels. <clears throat> or if you feel like you don't have a goal to accomplish, what to do about that. Struggling with low energy is frustrating because you want to feel motivated, you want to feel inspired, you want to get excited to take action. But sometimes, you know, the energy is just not there. And that is very much something that we all deal with. <laughs> I deal with it uh, from time to time. The truth of the matter is, is that our goals will change. We change. Everything's in constant flux and always changing. So some goal that you were chasing before that you were really excited about, all of a sudden, maybe it's not anymore. Maybe you don't know what to do right now. You're in a moment in your life where you're just a little bit unsettled, just a little bit unsure. These things happen. And so I wanted to address this and talk a little bit about it today and how to, how to combat it. Because the first and foremost, most important thing is not to get upset at yourself for having low energy or being less motivated. There are other factors at play and it's okay first and foremost, okay? What I, what I wanna talk about ultimately is getting out of bed, <laughs> first and foremost. I'm reading this book right now by Peter Sage called The Inside Track. In it, he was locked up in jail and he would talk about, he did some amazing things while he was in there. His attitude is unbelievable. I highly recommend the book. <clears throat> I'll put a link to it. But he talks about how he had to build his energy level up at the beginning of the day, every single day, because the energy of the prison that he was in was so bad. So you can imagine, right? And even in our own daily lives, you know, we wake up and we're like, ugh, right? But imagine what that energy would be like in UK's toughest prison. So every single day he had to wake up and basically raise up his own energy levels just to be able to face the day. <clears throat> so the first thing is get up. Get up, get up, get up. The most tempting thing is to lay in bed and feel sorry and go into that downward, uh, stagnant, sort of depressed <clears throat> uh, flow. So we want to definitely avoid that off the bat. That's number one. That's the first and foremost thing. Just get up. The thing about vibration, high vibration versus low vibration, Low vibration is stagnant. High vibration is active. <clears throat> it's moving. So move. Move in any way that you possibly can. Get up. Walk around the house. Take a shower. Brush your teeth. Anything that is active, anything that is moving, can start to break and help us out, right? Help us out. Get a little bit of uh, momentum. Get us a little bit of energy moving. Because energy is moving. <clears throat> Higher vibration energy start by moving um, and, and begin with that, getting out of bed and moving. Hygiene, I think, is a big thing. Just taking a shower or taking a bath uh, can really help to kind of get that, you know, get that freshness going, get that movement going and step out of kind of a, a, a funk, right? A funk. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is kind of how it appears to be, right? Like that's just kind of how, how it feels. Sometimes we're not going to have a goal in our life. Sometimes we're not going to have a strong passion or reason why. The other part of that is just enjoy, enjoy not having a goal and being able to experiment and experience different things. If you're in a place where you're not really sure, well, start looking around and start seeing what your heart sings about, right? Like, what is it excited about to try? Like, if you look at an ad for skydiving or whitewater rafting or skateboarding or whatever, what gets you excited or photography, whatever, what gets you kind of like, huh, that, that's, I'm intrigued by that. Just explore, explore the terrain, see what's what, and, and follow your curiosity. Follow your own intuition, your own curiosity. <clears throat> One thing you can do is sit down and just list a bunch of things that you might like to try, you know, almost essentially a bucket list type of thing. And then if there are things on there, you're like, no, that's silly. You don't have to worry to go down that path. But anything that you're curious about, try it. That will help tremendously. The thing about energy is it's really 
closely linked and tied with curiosity and ex exploration, you know, adventure, things that are um, really engaging to us. The thing about goals is, and motivation and energy, is having a clear why. That's the big thing in self-help that they talk a lot about. So that could be a really powerful thing to, to hone down on in times where your energy levels are a little bit lower. One of the things I like to do is I have a page, and I actually just started this a few weeks ago because I made a video about your higher self and what those aspects of the higher self are. So if you will jot down some aspects, attributes of that higher self, maybe even like a story about that character, that version of you, because it is you, and look at that and ruminate on that, meditate on that, and connect to it, then that can help you get a little bit more of a spring in your step. Biggest thing with a goal is we want to have a why. Well, obviously, we want to have a what. That's the goal. A why, a reason why, a deep meaning reason why. And you can write that down to what is your reason why you want to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. Is it for your family? Is it for, you know, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. A strong reason why. And then the how. And as we know, really... The metaphysical stuff that we learn that's what's helping us with the how because we've got an idea but we also allow the world to form around our process and take the steps that are necessary for it to deliver us what we need in the moment that we need it so that we can take our next action and then just learning to be present in the moment mindful in whatever it is that you're doing right now this will help your energy levels tremendously as Vadim talks about in the book, there are two energy channels kind of going up and down in your body. If you watch the energy exercises video I did, I go into a lot more depth. But anytime you're doing any activity, when it's walking, dancing, running, lifting weights, coloring, you can visualize those channels of energy in your body and just visualize the energy running through your body. And that will help to basically charge you up as well. But if you're if you're ever at a place where you have low energy, first and foremost, it's okay. It's all right to be there. Um, you, you, you're not always going to have super high energy levels. You're going to have fluctuating energy levels, and that's okay. Don't be frustrated about it. Don't get upset about it. Just relax. Allow it to be what it is, and start to take some form of action, right? Like, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to do everything all at once, but take that first act. Get out of bed, sit down, maybe do some journaling, and for me, uh, you know, I have to avoid just complaining on paper. That's not really helpful. But some sort of a writing prompt or an idea of some affirmations, different things that you can put in there that is going to lift your spirits up. Or see something that is intriguing or interesting to you, follow and pursue that. That's what it's there for. So follow those steps. Hop out there, get a walk, get some sun, get some vitamin D. Uh, in your body and, uh, and, and, and have, a, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful weekend. We're real excited. We have AthFest this weekend here in Athens. We're going to be handing out a lot of handbills and flyers and telling people about the comedy scene here, doing a lot of comedy um, and hanging out with a lot of, uh, a lot of the comedians and, 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 and community members here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's very motivating. It's very exciting. Woke up today, I'm like, ugh. Well, you know, it took me a minute, but... I'm super excited. I can't wait to connect and hang out with some super amazing people. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other. I'll see you out there. Have a good day. Much love. Peace.